Hi friends, it's Kate. Welcome to this Happy Hips Vin to Yin class. So we're gonna start this class off with some powerful vinyasas. We're gonna warm it up, we're gonna get deep into our hips. And then the last leg of class, we're gonna move into some yin postures. So longer holds that are gonna allow us to really melt into these postures since we have the muscles warmed up. So if you normally practice with a block, please have that nearby. I'll cue you when to bring it into the practice. And if you practice this class and you like it, please give it a loving thumbs up, comment. Let me know how your experience was, especially with a combo class like this. And if you want to practice more classes together, then go ahead and subscribe. And when you're ready, this is going to be a fun one. We're going to get deep into our hips. Let's go. So before we get into it, understand that flexible hips are strong hips. So we'll be doing some strength training drills in this class as well, and that's going to allow us to warm up the hips in the right way to get that mobility that feels good. But before we get started with movement, come to an easy seat, however that looks like to you. Maybe you close down the eyes, sit long in your spine, sit bones grounding into the earth. Neck long and a slight tuck of the chin. And just become aware of the sounds around you in your environment. And there's no judgment of the sounds. There's no good sound or bad sound. Just only an awareness of it. And click your awareness one step deeper into your physical body. So feel your sit bones on the ground or your mat, your hands on your legs or in your lap. Maybe you feel your hair or the clothes on your skin. Just a gentle awareness. And then go one click deeper and settle your awareness on your breath. One big inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Start to constrict the back of your throat on your inhales and exhales, bringing in that ujjayi breath. And acknowledge where in your body you feel your breath. Maybe your stomach expands, or your chest rises, your shoulders rise. On your next inhale, bring it all the way up to your collarbones. Fill all the way up. And then exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, Two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, continue. And soften the space between your eyebrows, soften the jaw. Soften the space between your eyelids. As we deepen our physical practice, we're also going to deepen this practice, the awareness of the self, the being with the self, not always doing, but being. So option now to gently blink the eyes open. I'm going to roll over onto my knees to get a little bit more height and take a toes pose where my toes are tucked. So you can stay in an easy seat if that's comfortable for you. But we'll move with our breath now. So inhale your arms up, reach up, build space between each rib and then exhale through cactus. So draw the elbows back, the chest forward, almost try to connect the elbows behind you. 
Hands come all the way down and then inhale them up. And exhale through cactus. Really exaggerate it. We're just warming up the chest and the shoulders. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. This one is different. Inhale up. Exhale all the way down, and when your hands come to the bottom, clasp hands or elbows behind your back and chase the ground. Open up through the chest. Keep the ribs knitted in here. Maybe your fingers or fists find the floor. And breathe into your sternum. Press your chest up towards the sky. Chest stretch. We're undoing all the typing, scrolling, driving, hunching that we do. Just breathe. And slowly straighten back up. Release the shoulders, roll them out a little bit, and come into a tabletop position. So hands under shoulders, fingers wide, point your fingers forward and knees under hips. We'll take just a few traditional cat cows before we find some fun movement. So inhale, look up, tummy drops, tail rises. Pull your chest through the gateway of your arms. And then exhale, chin to chest, round through each vertebrae. Press the top of your spine towards the front of the room. Light on the hands here. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale, look up, shine the chest forward. Exhale, round. Now you could take figure eights here, or circles, find what feels good. We're just going to warm up the spine a little bit. And then come to a tabletop position neutral tabletop, we'll reach our left leg back in space, find the balance. Actually, I will do the left leg, I said left, but I did right. And we'll reach our right arm forward, and we'll take some crunches here. So even here, make this active, navel in, and then on your exhale, round through the back, touch knee to elbow, crunch it in, and maybe you bring your elbow and your knee up to your nose, really crunch it in. Inhale, expand and reach, 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 long like taffy. And exhale, bring it in. Crunch it all up. Inhale, expand. Exhale, crunch. One more. Inhale, expand. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, expand. Reach your left leg up, up, up as high as you can. Bend the foot, so coming into a freestanding tiger pose. And then slowly reach your right hand back. Grab the left foot. Kick your hand or your foot into your hand and kick your leg up. See if you can shift your gaze up and square the hips. Tiger pose. Breathe. Release the leg gently. Right hand comes down to the mat. The left leg comes out to the side. And we're going to take taps here. This is that string training I was talking about. So tap the floor for five, excuse me, ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew, did you feel that? Because I did. Pass it on over all the way past your right leg. Touch your foot off the mat. Send your hips to the left and look to the right. Big IT band stretch here. Breathe. Lift up the left leg, replace it back into your tabletop, and we'll switch it out. So right leg comes out back behind you, left leg comes forward. Stretch it here, so reach forward and reach back with your leg. And then exhale, crunch it all in, elbow to knee to nose. <laughs> Inhale, expand, reach. Exhale, crunch in. Inhale, expand. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, expand. Exhale, crunch. 
Inhale, expand your left, your right leg. Leg reaches up, up, up towards the sky. Bend at the knee, so a free tiger. And then the left arm reaches back, grabs the foot, and kick up and back. Square off your hips and look up with your gaze. Breathe for three, for two, for one. Your right leg comes out to the side. Your left hand replaces on the mat. Ten taps. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Replace cat cow or tabletop. We'll take a quick little cat cow to rinse that out. So inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Then tuck the toes, hover the knees two inches off the mat. Kick the right foot back up and hold. Lower. We'll do five of these. So five with control. Four. Three. Two. Navel in. One. Hold at the top. Kick up a little bit higher. And lower. Left leg now. Kick up for five. Four, three, two, one. Hold at the top. Kick up a little bit higher. Lower. Press into the hands. Send the hips back and up. Walk out your dog. Ooh, that should feel nice. Big belly breaths here. Press into the hands a lot. Hasta banda with the hands. Pada banda with the feet, meaning lock them to the mat. If you're pedaling out, that's fine. Make your pedals deep, but really grip on with all the knuckles of the hand. Intentional dogs here. Walk your feet out to the width of the mat. Slowly feel the weight shift. Walk your hands back. You can make these little small walks. And when you get there, Uttanasana, forward fold. Bend through each knee. Maybe you grab elbows, sway side to side. Release the back of the neck. And next time your left leg is bent, keep it bent. Straighten the right leg. Left hand meets mat, right arm reaches up. Uttanasana twist. You can deepen it by reaching your right hand across your back into your left pocket. You can even take a bind so your left arm comes underneath your left leg. Twist open wherever you're, you are. Twist open towards the sky. Left hand meets the mat if you are bound. Inhale, reach one more time. And exhale, the right hand meets, meets the mat. Bend the right leg, straighten the left leg. Inhale, left arm up. Whatever variation you took on the other side, take it here. So maybe that was a half bind. Maybe that was a full bind. But whatever it is, spiral your chest open towards the sky and breathe. If you are bound, replace your right hand to the mat, reach your left arm up, and then exhale. Walk it back out to downward dog. Step your feet in together, traditional downward dog style, and then ripple up to a plank. Lower all the way onto your stomach for five, four, three, two, one. Arms out like a T. Roll over onto your right side for a big shoulder stretch. I like to bring my left leg up like a little kickstand. And I like to reach my left arm back. We'll just here for a few breaths, warming up the entire body before we move to some vinyasa. And then exhale through center. Roll over to your left side. Open up through that shoulder, that chest. (sighs) 
Beautiful. Roll over onto center, tuck the toe. Inhale up to cobra or up dog if you are ready. The floating up dog with the toes tucked. Engage the core and press back into downward dog. So inhale your right leg up, bend at the knee, point the knee towards the sky. Really open it up here. Feel the stretch by squeezing the glutes and then take big circles forward. And backwards. And on your inhale, bring your knee to your right elbow and step it on the outside of your right hand. We're going to do a funky kick through. This is a fun one. So pick up your right hand. Your left leg comes through. Kick forward. Touch your toe to your right hand and then send it back. Inhale, arms rise into crescent pose. A little bit of a wider crescent since we stepped on the outside of our hand. And sink in. <sighs> Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant the hands. Step right foot back to meet left foot. Knees on or off the mat. Exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale to your up dog. And exhale, down dog. Other side, inhale, left leg. Bend at the knee. The knee points towards the sky and then big circles forward. And reverse it. Inhale your left knee to your left elbow. And then step it outside your left hand. Same move here. Pick up the left hand. Right hand is still planted. Right leg kicks through. Maybe you touch the toes with your left hand. And then send it back. Inhale to a wide-legged crescent. And exhale, sink it in. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, plant both hands. Step back to your plank pose. Exhale, through chaturanga. And inhale, up dog, shine the chest forward. Exhale, down dog. So we're going to add on to that. Take a little breather. And then inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it on the outside of our right hand. Pick up the right hand, kick left leg through with control. Exhale, send it back. Inhale to crescent. Watch this move, or listen to this move, rather. Exhale down, knee touches to Anjaneyasana. Right hand comes back, down to the mat. Left hand reaches up and over, so a little bit of a back bend. Inhale, back to crescent. Exhale, lower the knee. Reach back with the left hand. Inhale, crescent, knee comes off the mat. Exhale, knee meets mat, Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Reach the left hand back. Inhale, crescent pose. Reach up in crescent, and exhale your arms through cactus. Hands clasp behind the back or elbows clasp. Inhale your chest up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, dip your chest forward, humble warrior. Arms come up behind your head. Your chest and stomach are not resting on your leg. They are active. Inner thigh is active. Inhale, come up, unclasp the hands. Crescent pose, arms reach. Exhale, plant both hands. Step right foot back to meet left foot. Option to skip vinyasa always. Or exhale, through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale. Down dog, beautiful. <sighs> Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it to the outside of your left foot or hand. Pick the left hand up, kick right leg through. Whew. Fun little can-can move. Step it back. Inhale, arms up to crescent, and on your exhale, back knee meets mat. Left hand comes back, right hand reaches up and over, a little bit of a back bend. The hips move forward here. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, knee meets mat, lean back. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, knee meets mat, lean back. Inhale, crescent. 
Reach up with your inhale and on your exhale, peel it open through cactus. Hands clasp behind back or elbows clasp. Puff the chest up on your next inhale and exhale. Fall forward with control, humble warrior. Hands clasp, pointing towards the sky. Feet are very active here. Pelvic floor core and inner thighs also active. Breathe. Inhale, back up to a crescent, reach the arms high. Exhale, both hands meet mat, step back into a plank, and take your vinyasa if you're feeling strong. Mm. Five breaths in downward dog, control your breathing here. Focus your energy. This next vinyasa is going to be a little bit different. So inhale the right leg up. Exhale, right knee meets right elbow. Cross it over to left elbow, then straighten the right leg. The foot meets the floor and inhale, arms rise, open, fall in triangle. Plant the left hand. The right knee comes to left elbow, right elbow. Open up to a side plank, right hand comes off the mat. Step the right foot back, open, wild thing. Squeeze the glutes, hip rise. With control, see if you could do this with no hands. Come into a tree plank, and then step your right foot all the way up to the top of the mat. Inhale through crescent, and open up warrior two. Strong warriors here. Focus. This next move, let's shorten our stance a little bit. We're gonna tip our, our warrior two over. Option for your block here. Your hips are still open to the side of the room. Your back leg comes up, finding the drishti on the floor, your focus point with your eyes on the floor. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you don't use a block. Option to have your left hand open your hip towards the sky so your hips are stacked, your shoulders are stacked. Flex your back foot to stay active and breathe. Soften your gaze, soften your jaw. Plant the left hand, square the hips off towards the floor Bend the left knee, and then stand up. Bring the left knee into your chest. Cross the left knee over the right leg, and the right arm under the left arm. Sit deep in your eagle chair. You don't need to bind twice. You can bind once or not at all. But bring your elbows up to the level of your shoulders, and bring your hands out. <sighs> Breathe, everything coming into the center. See if you can sit a little bit deeper. Slowly unravel. Send your left leg back through a warrior three. Touch down into crescent. And exhale both hands down and take your flow. If you don't feel like a badass after this, you should. <laughs> so inhale your left leg up. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, right elbow. Straighten the leg, foot meets the floor and inhale, hips up, fall in triangle. We're gonna swivel it around, so plant the right hand, bring it all the way into a right side plank. Touch the left foot back behind you and open into wild thing. Squeeze the glutes, raise the hips. And then try this transition where you come through a side plank tree and then with control step your left foot up. Inhale to crescent and exhale right away, peel open to warrior two. Three breaths here. Whew. 
Option to shorten your stance a little bit. Tip your front of your body, the whole top portion of your body, over. Find the ground or a block. And find your drishti on the floor. And then your right leg reaches up half moon. Option to keep the left leg bent until you find stability. An option to open the hips manually with your hands to stack them. Hips stacked, shoulders stacked, breathe. Navel in, soften the face, maybe you smile. Right hand meets the floor, square your hips to the ground, bend through the right leg and then come up to standing, bring the right knee into your chest. Right leg wraps around your left leg. Left arm wraps under your right arm. Sit low into your chair. Eagle arms, eagle legs. Bring your shoulder, your elbows up to shoulder height and your hands away from your neck and your head. Breathe. We can do challenging things, warm. Let your breath bring you back. Slowly start to unravel. Send your leg back through warrior three. Touch down so sweetly into crescent pose. And then exhale. Both hands meet the mat. Step back into your plank pose. Exhale through your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. <laughs> exhale, down dog. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale, step it to the top of your mat a little bit different this time. Inhale to star pose, so face the long edge of your mat. Toes out, heels in, arms reach wide. And then exhale, sit down into goddess pose. So try to keep a 90 degree angle with your knee. Squeeze your glutes so your hips are in line with your knee. And then sink low. We'll take pulses here for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And these are those drills we were talking about, strength building drills. Pop your right foot, place it down. Left foot, down. Right foot, down. Left foot, down. Bow. Core engage, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core, inner thighs magnetize towards each other. Gentle face, maybe a smile. For three, for two, full body shaking. For one, heels meet the mat, straighten through both legs. Toes face the front of the mat or the long edge of the mat, and then fold forward into prostrate, a wide-legged forward fold. Release it down. Crawl your hands over to the left side on your exhale. Inhale through center. Exhale to the right. And I like to bring my right arm to the outside of my calf. And then my left hand holds on to my ankle. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. Inhale through center, exhale to the right. One more time each side, inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, center, exhale, right. We're gonna move right away into yin posture. So all 10 toes towards the short edge of the mat, bend through the right knee and heel toe it off to the side of the mat so we're in a lizard pose. Option to stay here in floating lizard or drop down to your back knee and settle in here. Start to become aware of your breath. Be aware of the energy pulsing through your body, the heat that you have created. Mm -hmm. 
understand the pressure, the pressure in your hips. And with each exhale, see if you can release. 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 All that heat we built gets oxygen pumping through the muscle, blood and oxygen pumping through the muscle so that we can get into a deeper stretch safely. Our muscles are warmed up now, so this is the time. Option to stay in lizard or heel toe your foot over into pigeon pose. We'll only be holding each of these for about a minute to 90 seconds. So if you are in pigeon, sink in. To deepen your pigeon, bring your shin up more parallel to the short edge of the mat. And if you need a little bit more accessibility, you can bring your leg back towards your body. Do a quick body scan. It doesn't have to be quick at all. It can be a slow body scan. See where you might be clenching or holding. And see if you can bring ease there with your breath. When our nervous system is calm through our breathing, it allows our body to open up more. So option to stay in pigeon pose or if it's available to you, bring your left leg all the way around, stack it on top of your right leg, double pigeon, inhale to a long spine, and then exhale, fold it forward. Allow your upper body to be heavy, the body weight to take you a little bit deeper. And if you are in double pigeon, come back into regular pigeon, swing the left leg back with control. If you are in lizard, then place both your hands and we'll meet in downward dog. We'll take the same yin sequence on the left side. So inhale, left leg up. And exhale, place it outside your left hand. Option to stay in an upright pigeon here. It's a little bit more active, but if you want to sink down, your knee comes to the mat. If you need more depth here in pigeon, you can always use a block under your foot gives a really good deep stretch if you'd like a little bit more intensity. As we're in these yin postures and we're focusing on our breath, it's nice sometimes to bring in a mantra, something that you can repeat to yourself gives the brain something to think about because the brain always does want to to do that bring us back into thoughts so saying something like i am kind i serve others i find joy in meeting in what i do and repeating that finding one that speaks to you is helpful and you can heel toe your left foot into pigeon pose or come back into downward dog and then into pigeon pose. And again, your left leg can be up more towards the short edge of the mat or back towards your body. An option to fold forward here. Release any tension in the brow 
Relax the forehead. Relax the jaw. Relax the space between the eyes. Relax the neck. Relax the hips. Option to stay in pigeon or with control, bring the right leg around. Place it on top of the left leg and enter double pigeon. Allow your exhales to release any tension in the body, any holding, just bring in a sense of surrender. If you are in double pigeon, reverse it back into a regular half pigeon. Or if you are in lizard, plant your hands, step back into a downward dog. The knees meet the mat and we'll take a puppy pose. So untuck the toes, keep your knees at a 90 degree angle about, and then reach the hands forward, chest comes toward the ground. To deepen this stretch, you can bring your block under your hands or under your elbows, bend the elbows and bring your hands back towards your body. Puppy pose can be a very intense shoulder opening. So if you need to come out and then come back in, that is perfectly fine. In fact, I applaud you for listening to your body. But breathe deep. Start to walk your hands back. Take a seat back on your heels and then we will sit on our mat in the center. We have one more posture left before our closing posture. And straddle, so if you do have your block, bring it close to you. Open up your legs as wide as you would like here. And then slowly walk your hands forward, bringing Maybe just your hands, maybe your forearms, or maybe you place your block under your head and relax onto it. While you're here, normally I would cue activeness in the legs, but since we're taking a yin approach, go ahead and let your legs relax. Let your body weight sink you in. Bring a sense of ease to your face, to your body, to your breathing. Gentle breathing here. Make your breath audible and intentional. Just a few more breaths, you're doing great. 
One more exhale. And then inhale, come up to sitting so slowly. We're gonna come out of this really sweetly. So with your hands, manually bend your leg. Sweep one leg over so that you're sitting entirely on your mat. And then we'll take our final resting pose. So with control, coming down onto our back. Splay your legs wide, take up space, or come into Baddha Konasana, which is diamond shape with the legs and the bottom of the feet together. Arms open wide. Release your shoulders onto the mat. Relax your brow, your jaw your throat, heart space, arms, wrists, fingers, relax your abdomen, the space around your navel. Relax your hips, your thighs. Relax your calves, ankles, feet, toes, relax, Start to tap fingertips to fingertips gently. And gently wiggle your toes. Roll out your wrists, your ankles. Stretch long like a cat. Reach your arms overhead. And then keeping your eyes closed, roll over onto your favorite side, fetal position, hands under your head like a little pillow. And take five breaths here before you come up to a gentle seat. And keep your eyes closed down. Right hand on your navel, left hand on your heart. Just having a deep sense of gratitude for the energy that you put into your practice today, for the energy that you created for yourself today. And also the ease that you brought in. We did some challenging postures and we moved through them with grace. Prayer hands at your third eye. May kindness be in our thoughts. Prayer hands at your lips. May kindness be in our words. And prayer hands at your heart. May kindness live in our heart space. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Hari Om Tat Sat. Namaste, friends. Always a pleasure practicing with you. More classes in the description below.